welcome to Cooking with Johnny Burnett. Me here, back in the kitchen in Bristol with another delightful seafood recipe for you to follow. Today we are doing pan fried monkfish with gorgeous pan roasted Mediterranean veg, red peppers, red onions, and it is amazing. Samphire, citrus herby butter, and green beans. Dead easy to follow, but colorful, vibrant, stunning recipe. So, subscribe to the channel, Cooking with Johnny Burnett, Follow me on Instagram and remember, you can get all your seafood from me at a Conscious Fish Co. delivering the best fish straight from Cornwall to your door. Let's get on with the recipe. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna grab eight new potatoes, take them in half, then half it again, so we're quartering them, pop them in a pan with some water, salt, olive oil, and rosemary sprigs, and then we're gonna cook them until they are just al dente. Just cooked because then we cool them straight down and we roast them in a pan with the red peppers and the red onions and we get a nice herby base for this lovely monkfish dish. When the potatoes are cooked, run them under cold water, give them a shake, get our excess starch out and then drain them ready to pan roast with the red onions and the red peppers. Take your red peppers, take the tops off, seeds out, in half, in half again and in half again. So you want to cut the red peppers into eights nice bite-sized chunks which will roast down lovely. With the red onions, take the skin off, half them, and then just gonna half it again. So you're taking the red onions into quarters. Again, when we pan roast these, you'll get a lovely flavor, and you just want as much of that thick onion as possible, because you better cut through it, it will tenderize in the oven, and it will just be a delicious accompaniment with this entire dish. Monkfish is just one of those fishes which everyone loves. Um, it, it can be quite daunting, we sell it so it's completely prepped and filleted ready for you, but it's such a meaty, amazing fish. Uh, it's fantastic with herby aromatic dishes, but it's also stunning in curries and more Asian orientated style food. Uh, it's very versatile and it can take a lot of different flavors. It's one of my favorite fishes to cook with. For me, it's always about that lemon and herb with the monkfish. I think it's a fantastic um, way of bringing out its flavor. Uh, I'm really interested to know what you guys like to do with your monkfish, so do let me know. Make sure you preheat your oven to 180 degrees Celsius and get a pan on the heat. Make sure that pan is oven proof because the same pan is going to go into the oven. Put some olive oil onto the pan, add your potatoes, toss them around and cook for around 3 minutes. Make sure you season these potatoes with a good pinch of salt. Add your red peppers and red onions, toss and cook for another 5 minutes on the hob. Add a generous pinch of salt and keep mixing and shaking it around so it's nice and combined. Now add two teaspoons of unsalted butter and then put this pan straight into the oven. This should take between 15 to 25 minutes. Now your potato mix is in the oven. Grab a handful of flat leaf parsley and roughly chop it up and leave it in a bowl. We're gonna use this with the citrus butter right at the end when we finish cooking the monkfish. This is a lovely crumb that's gonna go on top of this dish, okay? So we have panko breadcrumbs, parsley, and lemon zest. All it is, a good handful of panko, just a good handful of flat leaf parsley chopped up and put into this bowl, and then the zest of one lemon, salt, and cracked black pepper. Simple as that. It just adds a nice texture, an aromatic richness to the dish as well. So it's well worth doing. It's not a necessity. If you didn't have it, don't worry, don't fret. No need to trek down to Waitrose or Tesco's to get the panko. But if you do, it's totally worth it because it's stunning on top. Grab the potato and the red pepper mix out of the oven. Make sure you have a tea towel, it's gonna to be very hot. And get it back on the hob, nice and hot. And then we're gonna add the samphire in. You can see how all those vegetables have just started to wilt in that heat. And they've got a lovely wrinkle around the edges where they're all roasted and all those flavors are oozing out. That's exactly what you want. Okay, ladies and gents, we are nearly there. This is nearly ready. We're gonna pop lat roasted vegetables onto a low heat and let it all just ooze around and stay nice and warm for when we serve this up. And now we're gonna add the green beans into some salted boiling water and then cook this incredible, fabulous monkfish, which takes five minutes, not very long at all. So we're nearly there. Let's go finishing off. Okay, so our monkfish is on a board. Season with some salt, get a non-stick frying pan on the heat get it lovely and hot, add some oil, and then add your monkfish either side. There's no skin on the monkfish, so it doesn't matter. And you want to cook for about two to three minutes on each side, get a nice crisp, turn it over, same on the other side, 
and then we're gonna add the butter and make the herby batter. Now we're gonna pop the monkfish in an oven proof tray into the oven at 80 to 100 degrees to keep warm whilst we make the herby butter to serve so everything stays nice and hot. For the herby butter, add another teaspoon of butter. And get that butter foaming really well as it is right now before adding another half a lemon juice in there and then finishing off with the parsley. And now we're gonna turn the heat off and serve. And now we're gonna start serving up, okay? Green beans are done, potatoes are ready, monkfish is ready, the butter is ready, the crumb is ready. It's gonna be incredible. Let's finish this off. And now for my favourite bit, it's to try this fish and see how it tastes. It's cooked perfectly, still nice and light. The first thing you get is that herbiness on the top of the panko, and then obviously the butter's coming through. Get some of these potatoes involved with the red pepper. I mean again, it's just flavour. It's exactly what you think of when you think of seafood cookery, you know? Nice bit of herbiness in there, some lovely citrus notes. Stunningly cooked fish, I love it. And the samphire, I mean, this is gonna give it a real crunch, I can tell. The red onion's almost caramelized to an extent. They just taste delightful. Yeah. I mean, this is really worth you guys doing. You can get this perfect monkfish straight from me, Conscious Fish Co. We deliver it straight to your door, filleted, and you can watch this video to learn how to cook it. It's a win-win situation. See you again next week. And thank you for watching. All the best. Bye-bye.